Welcome to Digital Ideas. I'm Mike Yeomans, and my guest is Rajiv Singh Malaris, who is president for Alcatel-Lucent's Asia-Pacific region, and he's also the chairman of the World Economic Forum's Global Agenda Council for Information, Communication, and Technology. And I know that's a mouthful, and in our industry, no conversation is complete without acronyms. So if you hear either one of us abbreviate with GAC, the Global Agenda Council, or ICT, for Information, Communication, and Technology, or WEF, which is the World Economic Forum. We're not speaking in code, right, Rajiv? We're just trying to save some time. Hi, Mike. Yes, indeed, we are. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. You know, I know you just came back from the World Economic Forum's Davos meeting. Can you tell us briefly about the WEF and your work with them, and what are your impressions coming out of Davos this year? Certainly. Um, and. Uh, as you know, Davos is a, a once-a-year event in which uh, thousands of, of uh, decision-makers and influencers get together to discuss the state of the world, so reasonably lofty ambitions and agenda. And a lot of this <clears throat> conversation this year was very much focused on the state of the global economy, how Europe is doing, how the U.S. is doing, how Asia is doing, and what are the risks to global economic growth and how do we manage those. But in addition to obviously discussing the macro issues and uh, <clears throat> how the economy will evolve, we also spend some time on the medium to long term questions of how do we create more jobs, how do we continue to uh, uh, enhance the quality of people's lives, create more economic wealth. Uh, and that's something that uh, I spend considerable amount of time uh, with uh, people from our industry, academics, uh, and a number of other people uh, discussing in Davos, and, and we agreed on a number of things to take forward. So you had a special ICT workgroup meeting in Davos. What was the most thought-provoking thing out of that? Yes, our Information Communication Technology Working Group met, and, and by the way, it's a diverse group. We have a bunch of professors, uh, business people, a musician called Peter Gabriel, and a number of other people. And we've been meeting and working now for uh, a while, and so uh, we used Davos as a way to touch base on, on where we were. We've been working on uh, a number of things. The, the first is how do we get broadband to everybody on the planet? And that's our goal was to, uh, by 2015 to have a broadband access everywhere. Now, it may not come to pass, but we spent some time discussing it, and one of our <coughs> uh, corporate partners uh, actually framed it in, in a way that I thought was really quite compelling, which is, if we can't get broadband to everybody by 2015, can we at least agree on getting 100 megs of capacity to the schools, libraries, and hospitals everywhere on the planet? And, and the notion there is by doing that, we enhance the quality of education in schools, we enhance access to knowledge, and we enhance the potential for hospitals to do their work more effectively. So that's at least the starting point uh, for unleashing the power of what we call the broadband infrastructure. So we spent some time talking about that. We spent some time talking about another issue, which is increasingly becoming important, you know, data security and data privacy, meaning as more of us use the Internet and broadband, we're doing more and more things on the Internet and putting in more and more of our personal information there. And so how that information is protected, how it gets used, is becoming increasingly important. So we have a number of initiatives going there. And the last issue, which is the issue I care most passionately about, is how do we use the mobile infrastructure, the mobile uh, phones, the mobile devices, to enhance education uh, across the globe? And enhance education is fundamentally two things. Um, give people who might not otherwise have access to education access to mobile infrastructure, and then two, improve the quality of education for everybody. And I don't mean just basic education. I mean things like the skills that you could actually learn that you can then use to uh, earn more money, get a job, uh, etc. So we, it was a very productive conversation, and we are going to launch a number of things uh, as a result of that conversation in the next several months. Rajiv, what was the big takeaway this year for ICT, and what are the next steps? Well, Mike, we um, agreed on a number of things uh, that we want to take forward, and I'll give you a couple of uh, specific examples. The first was that uh, in mobile education, 
where, quite frankly, uh, a lot less has been done than in, for instance, the application of m mobility and mobile devices and the mobile infrastructure to, a to healthcare and to financial services. Uh, the fact is there's very limited uh, examples of success of how the mobile infrastructure enhances education. So we need to sh shine a light on it. We need to take those good emerging examples and scale them. So one of the things we are going to do is identify a couple of government ministers who are passionate about this subject and work with them to throw more light on this issue, to throw more light on the potential, and in doing so, we hope, get the attention of a lot of other governments and a lot of other industry players and thereby scale up this phenomenon, which we know is going to happen. It's just a question of how quickly it can happen. Uh, a second example is, and this is by, by way of example of a skill that people can learn and then use to enhance their quality of life. So one of the things that's happening out there is more and more programmers are developing what we call applications that uh, create all sorts of uh, potential uses on the web. So an ability to pay perhaps your gas bill, an ability to, uh, to do something on the Internet that you might otherwise not have done. And this, that application is developed by a one person entrepreneur or two people entrepreneur companies, um, the, the skills, the programming skills can easily be taught. And in fact, there's something called Scratch for kids. Uh, so how do we, how do we accelerate the access to those, those programming skills using the mobile infrastructure? And we have a number of initiatives underway to see if we can, um, uh, scale that up. And in doing so, by the way, people who learn how to program and write apps will significantly enhance their earning potential and can become successful entrepreneurs all over the world. So that's another part of what we have agreed to uh, put some energy against in the next several months and, and see if we can, uh, again, scale more quickly and throw more light on this so that uh, people benefit from it. Rajiv, it's always a pleasure catching up with you, and thanks again for making some time for us. My pleasure. And that was Rajiv Singh Malaris, Alcatelucent's APAC president and chairman of the WEF ICT Council. I'm Mike Yeomans. This was Digital Ideas, and thanks for listening.